Hello, this is a short demonstration video on how to fly the A-10 TAC North departure from Nellis Air Force Base in DCS World 2.0. Okay, so we're parked at Nellis on the Alpha EOR for 03 right, uh, 03 right off to the left there. All configured and ready for taxi and takeoff. So the TAC North departure is a visual procedure, visual meteorological conditions only, and it is unique to the A-10, one of uh, three TAC departures which are available only to the A-10 from Nellis. It's a low-level departure, straight north, uh, heading off <coughs> down the uh, valley basically at our 12 o'clock, um, up towards Dry Lake, and from there obviously we can head <coughs> either into the uh, eastern low-altitude TAC navigation area, or up north to the desert mower, and onto the uh, 70 series ranges, etc, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. The general procedure is obviously being visual. Um, you need to be able to see where you're going. So daylight only, good weather, you know, no low clouds, no fog, etc. So we take off and maintain runway heading initially. Um, once we're airborne, in a stable climb, etc, gear up, flaps up, all that good stuff, we uh, press on towards apex which is a good visual reference point about nine miles to the uh, north north northeast of uh, Nellis. From there, once we're over that point, we make a slight left turn heading off to Dry Lake, which is about 15 miles away from Nellis. And from there, departure is complete and we can head off on our route as planned. There aren't any uh, particular altitude restrictions on uh, the TAC North departure, with the exception of when you're within around sort of three nautical miles of Nellis itself you need to be maintaining 500 feet AGL if there are any uh, helicopter operations ongoing uh, to obviously make stay clear of any rotary traffic um, especially important to note while we're actually on the takeoff uh, and the initial climb out because we've got the jolly pad and winter L's obviously to the north east of uh, Nellis and then winter LZ further to the north east there uh, just at the foot of the mountains, which is where most of the uh, rotary wing operations are going to be in this area. So, if they are, if there are any helicopters active, then uh, we need to make sure we keep a good visual look out there. Likewise, if there are other aircraft operating in the area, we need to make sure we're keeping our eyes open and avoiding them should they be there. <coughs> okay, so without any further delay, let's uh, crack on and taxi to zero three right. Okay, 03 right being one of the uh, main takeoff runways at Nellis. Obviously, 03 left, 03 right are the preferred takeoff runways. 21 left and right are the preferred arrival runways. 03 three right being the only runway from which you can depart with live ordnance on the aircraft. Okay, so nicely lined up. Quick uh, cross check, make sure all the switches are in good positions, exactly where we want them. Yes, they are. Okay, run on the engines 90%. Okay, core temps, core RPMs look good, fan RPM looks good, fuel flow stable, happy days. Okay, and. <coughs> 1038. Max power and brakes off. Okay, good acceleration. Jets climbing up quite nicely. Looking for 80 knots to bring nose wheel steering off. Okay, nose wheel steering's off. Maintaining center line, 100 knots, 110. Looking for 129 for rotate. There's 129. Back on the stick. 10 degrees. Aircraft's coming up. Gear up. And flaps coming up. Gear up and locked. <coughs> Just maintaining runway heading now, slight climb, looking for 500 AGL. Accelerating nicely. So, with the uh, one of the objectives of these tactical departures being to clear Nellis airspace as quickly as we or just uh, maintain max power.
Okay, coming up on the speedway there on the left. It's 500 AGL just over, so we'll level it out there. No need to climb any higher. Okay, again, this area is where you like to come across in any uh, rotary traffic, should there be any active. So, uh, good look out. <coughs> and also, if you're 2, 3 or 4 in a formation departing, again, make sure you're keeping a good look out ahead um, for other flight members. And you're either not closing with them if you shouldn't be, or obviously if you're going for a rejoin on the departure, then you know you're close into the right position. Okay, got a nice highway junction coming up here. It's a good uh, bit reference that you're on on the right track. Obviously, we see Apex now off in the four miles ahead. You just start seeing the uh, visual references for that uh, position coming up over these hills. <coughs> Pull back the RTT to 750. Again, keeping an eye out, looking for any of the traffic coming in. And then, good references for Apex we see coming up on the nose now. You've got the uh, small pond there and the buildings just passing down the left hand side of the aircraft, as well as the highway, well, highways uh, ahead and to the right. And second good reference being the uh, railroad bridge uh, off to our 12 o'clock now. <coughs> so, nice. Uh, Sharp left hand turn, referencing Dry Lake. You already, already see Dry Lake ahead now. <coughs> As its name would suggest, it's literally just the Dry Lake bed um, in the desert there. Nice uh, light colour in reference to the surrounding terrain, so you can pick it out quite easily, even at low level. Again, As we uh, pass over Flex, we should uh, be reporting into nice uh, air traffic to uh, let them know we're clearing Class B airspace. And then we're just looking to uh, press on towards Dry Lake. And uh, once we hit Dry Lake, that's the departure complete, and we can just uh, carry on carry on with our route as planned. <coughs> Either heading off to the uh, sort of east northeast and northeast there uh, into the uh, eastern latitude tactical navigation area, or we can uh, make a <coughs> left turn over the uh, mountains there, uh, heading up into the desert mower uh, up to the up to the Sally Corridor. Okay, that's Dry Lake. I'm going to uh, bring it left and uh, reference about 330 heading up the uh, Sally Corridor. And that's it. The de this departure completed. I um, hope this video was useful and uh, see you another time. Thank you very much.